Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this motion page tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can pull off this really cool image reveal effect when scrolling down the page. I recently came across this website right here and I wanted to see if I can recreate this bottle scroll animation right here inside motion page. I did find a good solution on how to pull this off inside motion page. I will be using Elementor in this tutorial, but I'm keeping the code with just HTML and CSS. So technically you can use this with any page builder that's compatible with motion page. So let's just jump into the back end. The first thing you're going to need to do is gather your assets. So in this case, we are just going to have three different images that are all overlapping each other. And when you scroll down, it's going to do the reveal. So I have this picture right here of an old fashioned uh, with color. Then I have this one with just like the outlines with no color. And then this right here is going to be the line divider that's actually going to wipe on and off, you know, the effect. So you need to get those three elements together first. And what I highly recommend is making sure that they're all the same width. So I'm making sure that this image is the same dimensions as this. And then this can be the same width if you want it to go across the whole screen. Now here we are on the back end of that Elementor page. And as you can see, I'm just going to be using an HTML widget right here and then just adding a little bit of CSS. So let me go ahead and drop in the HTML first and I'll have a link in the description below that you can download the HTML and CSS and everything. So if I paste this in here, you're going to see everything is going to come through. And what you need to do first is these image assets. You need to make sure you upload them into your media library. And then you're just going to change out the three different uh, URLs right here. So the way that this is structured is, as you can see, this very first div class is just called drink color. And so this drink color is going to have the overlay, which is the very first image of, you know, that line. The next one is going to just be showing the picture of the colored one. And then below here, this needs to be in a different div class. And this is just the outline. And then what we're going to do with CSS is just flush all this up right here to the top left. And, you know, just making sure that everything is going to work correctly. So, yeah, like I said, you just need to go in here and just change out these three image files with your own image right here. And like I said, it's best if you keep it all the same width. And I made sure that everything's going to kind of fit in this container. So depending on your use case, you may want to have it a lot bigger or smaller. But, you know, in this case, I'm just going to do a two column layout. So one thing to keep in mind is you do need to update this right here. So for your line overlay, so this line right here, you're going to want to assign a specific class to it because with the CSS code, we need to, you know, style it up a certain way. So now I'm just going to add the CSS above here so you can see everything on one page. So if I go ahead and do that. So now that you've added the CSS, you're going to notice that the image on the bottom is now tucked up underneath here and the outline right here is pushed to the bottom. So this code's pretty simple. I kept it as simple as I possibly could. So in this case, you're going to see drink outline max width 450. So what I'm going to be doing in this case is making sure that this container is always just going to be 450 pixels wide. So max width 450, that's on desktop. And what's good is when you start to scale this down, this should be responsive, you know, using a max width. And then you have right here, let me lower this. So you just kind of go down and see what I did. So drink color, you can see the position's absolute. I have it hidden because underneath here, to pull off this effect, if you watch right here, when I scroll down, you're going to notice that line will go down and then disappear. So that's actually going above 100% height. So that's why you'll notice right here, I have a height of 105. And same thing here, I have a max width of 450 pixels. And then that drink line, that class I was just telling you about, that's right here. That also needs to be uh, position absolute. And what we're going to do is push this to the bottom. I'm giving it the same width at 450. Uh, this is to make sure that it's centered. So you're going to want to do left and then transform 50%. If you don't need this to be centered, you can see if I take that out, it's not going to change anything because I have it full width. But you may not need that if you, you know, don't need your uh, line centered. And that's it. That's all the code that you're going to need. Everything else is just going to be done in motion page. And it just takes a few steps and you're going to be able to pull this effect off real easy. So just go ahead and update on this and then jump into your motion page. Now here we are in motion page. I already have everything loaded up. 
If you're new to this uh, software, what I recommend is I'm gonna leave a card up here and I have an overview of how this tool works. So if you're brand new to this tool, I recommend you watch that video first and then you can come back here and this will all make sense because this is not gonna be you know a motion page uh, overview. So I'm just gonna go through the settings and how I have everything set up. So if you notice right here, I have trigger, we have the scroll trigger. I'm locking this to the scroll bar, of course. So when you scroll down, you can see right here, it's being locked to the scroll bar and then it will end the animation right here. So in my case, I'm doing starts win 80% at the top, 20% at the bottom, pretty standard. So of course, this will change depending on you know how tall your uh, animation is and how your page is laid out. But in my case, this was a pretty good 80-20 uh, split. So now I'm gonna close that down. And I have it right here where I have the drink color. So you can go back to your page right here. So as you can see right here, drink color is the very first main div. So that's what I wanna tackle first. And if you remember up here, we have a height of 105%. So you need to declare a height at first so you can animate it. So that's all I did right here. So if you scroll down, I made sure my selector is on drink color. And all you have to do is underneath dimensions, we're starting at 0%, so it's gonna be right here, nothing's gonna show. And then the two, I'm going to 102%. So you can change it to 105, let me actually do that right here, so 105. And now it's gonna go down 105% and then disappear. So I actually think maybe 105 is too much, so let me change that back to 102. 102 right here, I was doing a, some testing. and. What's good about motion page is if you make any changes, you can just hit this refresh button right here and then it will reload everything. So now it's at 102% it grows. And then I always make sure that underneath your easing, I always make sure it's at none. That way you don't have any weird delays during the animation. So that's it. That's how easy it was to do this effect. And now if you notice in my timeline, I have these two extra keyframes right here and this is just different effects I have on this line overlay. So if we go to the very first one, you can see right here, um, all I'm gonna do with this one is uh, under the from, I'm just gonna choose the dimensions, the width at 50%, and then 10%, or I'm sorry, 100% is the two. So I just wanted it to kind of grow. So let me give you an example. So if you notice right here, slowly, you see how it's like at 50% right here, and then it grows real quick to 100%. So you could do something like that if you want, where it kind of grows as you scroll down. Because I noticed that other um, website I showed you, they, they kind of did that effect. But I think 50% might be a bit much, so I could just change this to like 80%, and then it will just grow to 100%. And then, of course, I have this uh, really short, so you don't have any issues with it you know, growing too slow. So I wanted to make it very fast. So if you just hit save, now, if I hit refresh, it's going to grow from 80% to 100 like really fast. They won't even notice it probably. And then the next effect is basically the same thing, but now I have a fade out on it. So if I select that keyframe right here, the from opacity is 1. And then I'm just going down to 0. And then right here, I'm doing the very similar effect. I'm starting at 100%, and then I'm going down to 10% really quick. So that's how you get that fade out and shrinking effect right here. So this is where that 102% come into play because it's gonna go that extra 2% and kind of go down below the glass. So it's a pretty cool little effect. And then same thing here, I always make sure easing is uh, set to none on all my keyframes. And that's it. That's how easy it is to pull this effect off with just a little bit of HTML and CSS. Um, I wanted to do this uh, with HTML and CSS just because it's more compatible for all the different page builders. And I found that if you try to do this, you know, using Elementor images, it just makes it a little more difficult. So with just this a little bit of code right here, you can pull off this effect. And that's it for this motion page tutorial. Make sure that you give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.